That workshop, the perfect place for our catapults. An army of wooden giants to bring down the walls. Those Franks, what are they doing? Ah, they slay another of their own today. For what? Who can say? If a man prays to the wrong god, sleeps with the wrong woman, follows the wrong king, by Frankish law, that man dies. Among the Saxons, it is much the same. Aye, but the Saxons are fewer. They are divided, and they fight both us and the Celts. These Franks, though, united under a great king. It would be like unleashing Fenrir the wolf upon the world. We are God's priests, and we are good. But if thou do that which is evil, fear. For we beareth not the sword in vain. Who are those two? I've seen that warrior priest with Count Odo before. Goslin and Ebels. Warriors and brothers. One leads the priests of Paris, the other the Frankish armies. For we are God's priests. Avengers to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. Wherefore ye must... Brother, you talk too much. <laughs> Come on. Let us go take that workshop now. Quite a show they put on. We'll have to fight those Franks. True, but today is not that day. My men are ready. Come, let's take some ground for the catapults. I would never give my warriors a shameful death like that. Nor would I. But I have met rotten rulers in many lands. You speak true, Siegfried. The Franks have no monopoly on wickedness. Almost there. Now, let us travel light and stick to the rooftop. Siegfried Skullbreaker is here! Come on, man! We shall take this workshop and make it our own! We scouted the place. They keep watch, but not well. And the sight lines? A perfect place for our catapults to hurl stones upon that cursed town. I never took you for a rooftop runner, Siegfried! I am no goat-footed climber like you, but I hold my own on cliffs and walls. Attack! Vengeance or death! Our new catapults are eager for battle. Crack of wood and stone, the sound of victory. Vengeance. Oh, 
Great victory. The gods smiled upon this day. Indeed. This gives us another place where our catapults can smash down their walls. Eivor, know you the fate of Vida Odinson? The god of vengeance who fights beside his father in the battle at the end of days. Yes. Vida avenges him. Vida twists the great wolf's neck with his bare hands, then Stabs the beast through the belly. So say the no Days like today, I walk in the shoes of Vida, avenging my brother. Other days, there is nothing. We will bring those walls down on Odo's head, and I will avenge my brother. It is good. We shall meet back in camp. When all is ready, secret. 